Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video seven in our Christmas medley slash Holly Jolly series. And as I've mentioned before, we've used um, some pieces from a couple of other kits too. And uh, Caroline's Craft Tree, Liana's Scrap, and a couple of other ones, maybe. <laughs> I'm not even sure at this point. So what we're going to do in this video is, I'm not sure we're going to have time to get to the page that I have set up, but we'll see. We're going to do two other things this time, uh, two things that I've never done before. So the first one is we're going to make a shaker tag. I decided to go ahead and go for it. And um, let me get my uh, big shot out. Let me move this stuff out of the way over here. So what we're going to do is put this one back to back. They're duplicates. Pretty much my scan and cut apparently cannot cut exactly the same way twice. Um, and I'll just trim it up a little bit when we're done. Or I'll just eat the heck out of it and hope for the best. Um, but we're going to put it, these two, we're going to put them back to back. And then I'm going to cut the window out. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, back to back, blade down. Okay. Just guesstimated on the where I wanted the window. I don't think it really matters at this point. Still taking a kind of a hit going through. Let me try it one more time. That's better. Sorry about the noise. Okay, I just wanted to make sure and get a good cut. It should be, it should fall apart right now. Yeah, so we've got the two window pieces, which we can use for little tags later, like we did the round ones if we want to. Let's put this away. So now we're going to need to ink up the windows. Let's get that done before we forget, which I almost forgot. It just dawned on me just now. Oh, for goodness sakes, get in there. I almost went one size smaller on the window, but then I decided to just go for it. Set all my equipment out of the way. Okay, so now all we need to do <laughs> is ink these. And I inked them around the inside a little bit just in case because it made a little zigzag here and a little zigzag over there. I have no idea what it thought it was doing. So let's um, ink them up inside the windows. So then we're going to put the um, acetate in the windows. Then we're going to, I have this little mirror image picture. Yes, I went with a square. Did I do both already? I have no idea. acetate on the insides.
and thin my glue out. There you go. Yeah, that window's not straight. It's all right. They're lined up with each other. We'll pretend like it's crooked on purpose, just like we did with our uh, other window. For being avant-garde. Now, when we go to glue them together, we're going to want to get the glue as close to the border as possible because we don't want our little shaker deals um, going down in between and getting stuck. Now, ours are a little bit bigger, so I'm not sure that's going to be a big problem. But, um, and I've only got the one kind. Um, I decided on the first try not to go for glitter, you know. Oh, of course. Yeah, that'll never do. Oops. Let's see if I can do this without getting my fingers all in the glue. We'll try that one more time. That again. Missed the plastic on this side. Glue it down on these two sides. Just that little section right there in the middle. We're going to be gluing it again anyway, closer in, but. Okay. Ta da! Finally, we got one. Let's see if this piece of acetate's big enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we can even trim it. No, we don't really have to. Yeah, we better. Yeah, I put uh, some acetone in my glue. To thin it out. Make it go a little bit further. So my glue is late in arriving.
I almost thought I had done it too thin. Now we need to um, glue our little mirror image piece on. We only need to glue it on one. As far as I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get right up onto the corners on this. Okay. Take some of these. This is where the let's see how big of a mess Terry can make come part comes in. I'll put them in the center. Oh, sparkly. I don't think I need anything else. These are pretty nice. Wonder how much you put in. <laughs> Enough until you think it's going to shake, huh? This is pretty big window. Now we have to glue the two of them together. Let's get our little sparklies in the middle here. Not too much. I don't want to make too big of a bulge. Okay. right around the inside of the acetate, right along the edge of the window, gosh darn it, And you should be able to just mush them together. And then we should be able to go, ta-da! <laughs> no, we need to glue it around the edge, too. Come on now, Terry. added another brain, I'd still only have one. Okay, now, now we put them together. Look at those little guys. There's a little bit of an edge right there, but I think for the very first one, I think we did pretty good. Let's let it dry for a minute. We don't want to get our sparklies. Look at the colors, though. Oops. And they're all sparkly. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. All right. 
I'm going to set this up here to dry. Can't believe that worked. <laughs> I know, I know that it isn't a hard thing to do. You just saw, I've got two more the same, that I could make a smaller one. They were my backups. I don't know how I thought a smaller one would be easier, but okay. Now we're going to go on and we're going to make a writing board. Now, this is the paper that glitter glue that ate into my paper came in. So it had this weird, one of those weird funny shaped holes, you know, that you used to hook on one of those double metal prongs and slide it in. Now, some people have a punch that will punch out that shape. Some people are really good with a straight edge and could cut that tiny little thing out. Me, I whacked it off. I did. I'll admit it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cover this with the cream colored paper first, front and back. Then we're going to do an inside image, front and back. Then I'm going to coat it so that it is got a lot of depth to the coating. It's triple thick. Um, it's by Rustoleum, believe it or not, but it's like a triple thick glaze sealer spray, something like that. It comes in a spray can. I'm going to have to take this outside and spray it so you probably won't see the completed board until the flip through, but I will um, hold the little, uh, we're going to put corner pieces on the corners and the whole nine yards. So let's get going. Let's. That only took 15 minutes to make that. So we're just gonna get that corner turned up. We're just gonna glue this onto here. We're gonna glue the glue container. I don't want any air bubbles. Anything like that. It's just like you're doing a cover. Okay. I'm just going to stick this down on here. I sprayed it already both sides. Cheers, Diet Coke, or Diet Pepsi. I'm going to use my trimmer. I'm going to cheat. One piece was going to be big enough. But it's not. And then don't worry about the edges. We're going to take care of those too.
Because right about now you're probably thinking, but Terry, the edge is going to be cardboard. No. Well, yes. But uh, we're going to take care of it. I was going to use this rub that I have um, to do the edges, but I believe, I don't know, I'm going to try it first, but I think the edges are too thick. So I've also got some gold Art Deco, you know, little cheapy little paint to paint around the edges with a little teeny brush. So we'll see. It's so cream. <laughs> it's so cream colored. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my lady upstairs is doing laundry, so I apologize if you can hear it. Nothing I can do. <laughs> you notice I jumped right in there with nothing I can do. Okay, now we're going to take this image, and I'm going to have to, uh, oh no, I don't. I don't have to put glossy accents on it. Duh. I'm going to spray it with the stuff. So, I want this. Get that edge right there. Looks like it jumped. There we go. Boy, add an extra acetone to fabric tech makes it smell stronger. <laughs> Go figure. So we're just going to do the image with the border. Um, it looks like this border is going to be a little big. Maybe we should a little issue with the paper there. So let's do this. You know. We could put it on this side. I could paint this side gold and it would look like a little book, wouldn't it? Like a little golden book. And I would need to put the paper all the way to the edge. Otherwise, this image isn't going to be big enough and I'm going to have to print out another one. You see, you see what I mean? This, this half a page here. So I'll print out another one of these. Let's get this for the back. Now, do I want the darker color? Yeah, this is too um, pink. So let's cut the piece for the back. I 
was a little imp little problem with that on that side too. Okay, if we keep going, we'll be all right with the paper, huh? The reason I didn't make it bigger as well is A, you can still write under it, or write over it, and B, it's not that big of a book, and C, I want to try to put it in a pocket. If not, we can always just put it in the center of the book, but I really would rather uh, put it in a pocket at the back of the book, which I'm not sure how that's going to work with the corner pieces. So we're just going to have to wait and see. We're just going to have to reserve judgment until we see the final, final deal. So this is easy. You're just covering a piece of cardboard. Much better. And um, I sprayed decoupage with that triple thick whatever, and it turned out really nice to seal it. Um, it didn't have any effect on the, uh, you know, the colors or whatever on the napkin, but it was sealed by Mod Podge. So hopefully we won't have any issues like we did with that glue because there's not water. Well, if there is, it's not water, water like that condensation and that glue was uh, to get on our paper. If so, then I will use Mod Podge to seal it. I'll make a new one. Okay. So the main thing is I wanted to show you what we're going to do to make it enhanced. You know what I mean? I mean, anybody can do this part. Man. Now I should have marked it. Well, I turned it all the way around to ink it. Because it isn't quite square. Looks like I got it the wrong way. Now there is writing on this. So when you put the paper on the other side, you're going to want to make sure that the everything is directional facing up and down. Okay, so we're just going to put paper on the other side. Then we're going to paint the edge. Then we're going to seal it. Then we're going to put these on the corners. It'll look nice. But we have to do the sealant first. I got an extra. 
to one out of the container. I wondered how come I had a odd number left in the container. Okay, so we're going to put these on. And all you do to do that is just squeeze them shut. There's little dots right here or indentations. And make sure to use, um, you, you might want to put um, a small piece of cloth or something there so you don't scratch or damage the surface. Um, but you, I squeeze them together with my fingers first, this one down, this one down. Then I get out my flat plier, pliers, make sure they're flat, kind. The, hold on. Well, I'll show you what not to use. Don't use your jewelry round nose pliers or anything like that. The ones you want to use are the ones that are square and flat. Mine are in the zip up bag with other stuff. Okay. So, technically, we're done with that. So we can get a start on that next page. I guess that wasn't a very good tutorial on a writing board, was it? Sorry about that. Wish I had this paper. I wish I'd looked at it closer. I did kind of hold it up and I thought, oh, okay. I think I just looked at the top and the bottom. Okay, so paper clip this back together, put it back over here. Oh, the book is torn apart. You want to, people laugh at me doing the pages off the paper, or off the book, and numbering them on the back, and then numbering the pages. Well, to do the glossy accents on everything, because it started getting a little carried away in the second half that we had done so far. Excuse me. And then uh, I had to go back and do the first half, and you have to take it all apart. And, um, lay them out, right? And then any ephemera, I had to do all that. So anyway, now everything is numbered so that I can put it all back together without trying to remember which page I wanted where. So this is going to be page 13 for those of you keeping track. This is the paper. Nope. This is the paper. And we're going to make a couple of flaps. And then this is the pocket. We're going to put a clear acetate pocket and then we're going to put our shaker card in there. Okay. So I'm going to make of flaps that's, that are going to have tags with the, um, that are going to be tag shaped, not rectangular with pull tabs. Okay. So I want to have more paper. Yeah, this will work. Okay, this is, um, let's do four and four, and then five and a half. Yeah, this is five and a quarter only. Um, let's go five and a quarter, so that'll be five and three quarters long and four inches high. Five and three quarters inches long, four inches high. Five and three quarters long and four inches high.
and actually I'm going to need four. Washer is really loud. Quarters four. Actually, that we already had. Oh no, we had the two scraps. Now this one, we only need it to be the five and a quarter. We don't need a flap on this. It's going to be glued to the back side of the other one. So five and a quarter. Four. We're going to mark this with a little S for smaller. <laughs> I know. Five and a quarter. Let's do the four. Felt that move. Guess not. All right, that's the four. So we need five and a quarter. Score these I have. If you could see the mess I had right up here in front of me, it all looks so orderly on the camera. And the reason I did this, um, the way that I'm doing it and didn't use an envelope is because I wanted it to be sturdier than an envelope. I knew I was going to have to be going to have to put glossy accents on whatever paper we put on here. Please that one better than I did the first one. Yeah, much easier. Okay. Should have put my other blade on when I was working on that board, huh? Okay. So now we're just going to glue this one in here. Let's glue it in as the pocket and then I'll trim it up. I don't know how they came out uneven. Oh, because of the thickness of the um, score line. Well, 
then it wouldn't make any difference if we glued them on the top, right? <laughs> Yep, it's still different. Okay, anyway, we're going to glue, want them on the left side of the paper. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the other side of the center spread. Uh, what was I just going to do? Oh. I forgot. Uh, why did I do that? So let's make sure to line this end up and then we can always trim the other end. Like I may have scored or folded my score lines a little off. Okay, it's official. I cannot cut paper worth poop. <laughs> so, so I'll trim the link. Yeah, the score lines off. little bit of an overhang on the top of one of them, so but we want to make sure they're both the same. And we want to take off enough to make it even. Don't want to unglue it. So since that was stuck to my finger, let's double check our glue. That one's still glued shut. This one's still glued shut. Okay, so those are our flaps. And it doesn't matter um, which one we put on the top and which one we put on the bottom. Okay, that's not acceptable to me.
making sure that they are really still glued together. These are going to be awfully skinny tags. And then the rest of this is going to be straightforward. It's just papering the fronts and the backs of the flaps. Make sure they're both going the way they're supposed to go. Okay. I'm going to label this top. Top. Front, top flat. Now I'm just doing this because my image, I'd like to make it look um, seamless. If you know what I mean. I mean, there's going to be a little cream border, but I would like to make the image continuous. So I need to know um, which one is the top, which one is the bottom when I'm as I'm working with them. So let's cut the top one. Goodness sakes, and that was right handed too. So let's um, So we'll just cut the width and we'll use this width for both, obviously. Then we're going to cut this here and we're just going to drop this down. Cut it. And then that should give us the image on its way down. Now, see there's the two halves of the circle. So we should be able to glue this one on, then glue the next one on and it should look nice. I hate being low on glue. It is a super pet peeve of mine. I always order the glue a week early. So, still though, a five day delay. I guess what I need to do guess what I need to do is order them, order two, and then when the first one's gone, order another one, and so on. Then I always have a full one. I go through it like crazy. 
I just leave it right on my Amazon list thing and I just click on it and, you know, order, 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 order. <laughs> I didn't ink it. And then we know the white circle goes towards the bottom. I wonder if there's enough glue on there. Probably not. Speaking of wasting glue, once again I was talking and gluing and not thinking and gluing. Talking and gluing and not thinking and inking. That's it. There. I made that one up. You can share that with all your friends and neighbors. <laughs> that looks better. Oh, I've got this song stuck in my head. I don't know if you know, guys know what it is depends on how old you are this there was this silly song and all it was was I'm Henry the eighth I am Henry the eighth I am I am I married the girl next door she's been married seven times before everyone is a Henry uh, she wouldn't take a something or a Sam so I'm the eighth old man named Henry Henry the Eighth I am. Not Henry, but Henry, because it's a British deal. So, this goes this way. <laughs> it's been stuck in my head, and then it goes second verse, same as the first, and then you just sing it over again. It is so silly, but it's been stuck in my, stuck in my head. So now, ask A-L-E-X-A to play it for you. If you don't know how the melody goes, I cannot sing, or I would sing it for you. That would really get it out of my head and into yours through the miracle of mind melding. Um, and then once you hear it, maybe you don't want to have her tell you it, have it tell you. Um, then it'll be stuck in your head all day. And then with the backs, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're, um, well, I guess it does. So you want the stripes lined up. Do I want to do stripes? Possibly not. Well, they're going to have pockets. All right, let's go for it. I say let's go for it. wonder if it would be easier to put them on the page now. Yeah, I think so. was A-L-E-X-A telling me a shipment will arrive today. It will not, unfortunately, be my glue. I can double check. I think it's my Christmas tree lights. They're 
they're too big. How did I manage? Oh, I know how he did it. So, I'm just going to have to overlap them, and I didn't want to. Um, I know how. These are not full-size pages. Just keep saying it to yourself over and over out loud. These are not full-size pages. <laughs> they're only seven and... I don't know, five eighths or something. Darn it. Well, so much for making sure they overlap. It still looks good. But you can still tell that one picks up where the other leaves on. This is a debacle. This is how you fix mistakes, people, or how not to fix mistakes. So let's put one one way and one the other. One was off by about a sixteenth, and it was enough to drive me crazy. There's no way I would put them next to each other. And we need to put magnets on before we put our pockets on, because I almost forgot about them. So, our magnets, are going to go down here. Well, if you want to know how much metal is in the edge of a Tim Holtz ruler, now you know. <laughs> Suck that whole row of magnets right over there. Or the whole row of magnets got sucked over there. You know, I should do, oh, I can. Sure I can. I'll just cover it up. I'll make this, I'll make this one a, um, well, we can make side pockets. That's no big deal. It's not like we haven't done it before to cover up mistakes, right? Okay, now that I goofed around with this, we're at an hour. So, the only thing you need to do to finish this page is what? Think about it. Paper the backs. Add your pockets. Oh, we never papered the backs yet. All right. All you need to do is paper the backs, put whatever pocket or belly band or whatever you want on it. I did remember the magnets. See? <laughs> I have no idea what is going on in my brain today. So anyway... So just paper the backs of the flaps, put pockets or tucks or whatever you want on there. I'm not sure what's going on here. Why would that be?
Okay. So this one is going to have to have a card. I wanted to put two facing this way with the tags out and um, a charm on each one. So I may redo this so that it does. This needs to be up higher anyway. Now I'll just redo this magnet. Mistakes and how to fix them. That's what this one, this video should be called. Except for our shaker. Remember our shaker and our writing board? Those turned out great. <laughs> remember, remember back in the good old days in the first half of the video? Glad Fabri-Tac takes a while to dry. That's all I've got to say. Lays a lot better too. I don't know. Okay. So Decided I thought that one could go up just a smidge too. All you have to do, I'm going to say it one more time and then I really am going to let you go, is paper the backs and put on the pockets and then um, I'm just trying to see if I still can get them. So I really need them to both be on the same side. Otherwise, our pockets won't work at all. Oh, we're going to have lace on them anyway. It's because of this overlap. Ooh. All right, I'm going to hold that till it dries. Okay. All right. I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay. Bye-bye.